Good morning, everybody. Good morning and a warm welcome to day 191 of our Rise 5 AM Club 2.0. And a warm welcome. I see a lot of wonderful people here. Good morning, Ramanji. Good morning, Rupali ji, Usha ji, Naresh ji, Fancy, Shraddha. Good morning, good morning, good morning to each one of you. And a warm welcome once again. Through the daily rituals, our intention is to raise the level of consciousness of the planet. When we align our mind, when we remove all the nakarat mukta and nikalte, so dhire dhire hum us shakti se we start getting connected with that power which is there within us, and slowly and steadily we bring more happiness, more joy, more compassion, more love on this planet. So that is our intention through the 5am club is to raise the overall consciousness of the planet. Okay. So with that, let us start our daily rituals by bringing ourselves first into the present moment. और आपका पूरा ध्यान अपने सांसों की ओर रखें एंड बिकम कंप्लीटली अवेयर ऑफ योर ब्रेथ The best way to pay attention to your breath is to pay attention to the tip of your nose. Aapke naak ke upar koi bhi ek point pe dhyan dijiye taaki aap mehsoos kar sako ki hawa andar ja rahi hai aur hawa bahar aa rahi hai. Once you become completely aware of your breath, move your awareness to what is happening inside your body. Pradhyandi ji andar kya ho raha hai? If you notice, there are so many functions going on inside the body. Pay attention to your heartbeat. वैसे तो सुनाई नहीं देती लेकिन जब आप ध्यान दोगे तो आपके हृदय की धड़कन भी सुनाई देगी पे अटेंशन टू द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ योर हैंड्स आपके हाथ कहां पे है ध्यान से देखिए वेयर आर योर फीट टचिंग द ग्राउंड Pay attention to the space you're occupying on your chair. Pay attention to the surface of your skin, where the air is touching your skin. Your feeling are you feeling there? Pay attention to the Then move your awareness to what is happening around you. आपके आसपास क्या रहा है उसके ऊपर ध्यान दीजिए लिसन केयरफुली टू ऑल द साउंड्स अराउंड यू साउंड्स व्हिच आर फार फार अवे साउंड्स व्हिच आर वेरी क्लोज टू यू एंड पे अटेंशन टू दैट And as you become aware of all of this, you are now completely in the present moment. The most beautiful moment of our life. You are not in the past, you are not in the future. You are now in the present moment. And remember the point of power 
is only present moment. We cannot change the past, not do anything in the future right now. You can do something, it is only in this moment. Now slowly open your eyes, get ready for the rituals. Okay. First practice we will do is to cleanse the mind. Call it the mind bath. You can give a nice bath to your mind by releasing all the unwanted stuff from the mind. Do that by tapping on the karate chop point for 35 times. Pehle yaha pe tap kare, paitis par. And then you start tapping on the rest of the points by focusing on any one area of your life. So today we will focus on the self. is your belief about your own self. Who are you really? And is that connected with your achievements or your degrees or your certificates or the amount of wealth you have? अगर आपके पास कम है तो क्या आपने आपको कम समझते हो ज्यादा है तो आपने आपको ज्यादा समझते हो What is your belief about yourself? When you look at somebody else who is more successful the eyes of the society what is your feeling? you get inspired by the person or do you get demotivated? That mere paas to kuch nahi. Mere to kuch bhi nahi. Remember, our entire life is a reflection of what we believe about our own self. What is your belief about your capability? You believe that you are capable of doing anything or do you feel that you can't do anything? You can do anything in your life. Yes, I can do it. You can do anything in your life. You can do anything in your life. You don't even give it a shot. You don't try. What's the feeling when you think that way? I am not as capable as somebody else. The other person is so brilliant. Focus on the feelings. 
that you have towards yourself. Remember, there is one person that you spend your maximum time with. Ab apna sabse jada samay kiske saath mein nikalte ho? Khud ke saath mein rahe. So, agar hum khud ki company pasand nahi karte, hum apne aap ko kam samajte hai. Hum samajte hai ki wo jada achhe hai, main jada achha nahi hu, main aisa hu, main waisi hu. So, then the emotions are going to be negative. That is described as low self-esteem. Put ko kam samaj na do. What about your belief about being lovable? Kya aapko aise lagta hai ki aas-paas ke log aapse pyar karte hai, aapko accept karte hai? या फिर आपकी सोच ये है कि कोई मुझे प्यार नहीं करता किसी को मेरी पट्टी नहीं है किसी को मेरी चिंता नहीं है वर्किंग इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू फील अप्रिशिएटेड रिकॉग्नाइज एंड रिवॉर्डेड एंड लव्ड यू फील दैट नो बडी केयर्स फॉर मी Or do you feel that you are lovable and accepted by people around you, or do you feel that people don't love and accept you? ध्यान दीजिए उसके ऊपर उसके फीलिंग्स के ऊपर ध्यान दीजिए यू फील अनवर्दी अनलव्ड अनएक्सेप्टेड What is your thought about deservability? Do you feel that you deserve the best in your life, or do you have a feeling that ये अच्छी अच्छी चीजें मेरे लिए नहीं हैं? These expensive things are not for me, or these good things are not for me. हो सकता है बचपन में आपको बताया गया हो कि बेटा जितनी चादरें उतनी पैर फैलाओ ये हमारे औकात के बाहर है ये हम अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते दिस इज ओनली फॉर द रिच पीपल सो हाउ डू यू फील व्हेन यू गो टू बाय समथिंग यू फील दैट यू आर वर्दी ऑफ द बेस्ट That is called worthiness or deservability. I deserve the best in my life. And let's take one last round. Do you love yourself? क्या आप अपने आप से प्यार करते हो? जैसे हो वैसे? या फिर उसमें भी conditions हैं? मेरे तो बाल सफेद हो रहे हैं मेरा तो पेट बाहर आ रहा है मेरे चेहरे पे तो जुरिया है 
मैं इतना अच्छा नहीं हूं मैं इतनी अच्छी नहीं हूं आई डोंट लुक हैंडसम आई एम नॉट ब्यूटीफुल थॉट अबाउट योर सेल्फ यू लव योर सेल्फ द वे यू आर और डू यू क्रिटिसाइज योर सेल्फ Wonderful. So now, let's take three deep breaths. Inhale from your nose. Exhale from your mouth. The more you release negative feelings towards yourself, more your life will start working beautiful. Okay. So let us take three deep breaths. Keep your eyes closed for a few moments. Notice the stillness in your mind. I'm feeling so much calm and so much peaceful within. then slowly open your eyes and have some water please please have some water after tapping you must always have some water then we'll do one positive round of tapping so let's start again from the eyebrow point i am good exactly the way i am i am good exactly the way i am i am a unique magnificent creation of god I am a unique and a magnificent creation. I am capable of doing anything that I wish to achieve in my life. I am capable of doing anything that I wish to accomplish in my life. i feel deeply loved and appreciated and accepted by everybody around me i feel deeply loved accepted and appreciated by everybody around me i deserve the best in my life and i accept it now i deserve the best in my life and i accept it i am unique and special i am unique and special day by day in every way i am getting better better and better day by day in every way i am getting better better and better i have unlimited potential and i have the power to create my own life i have unlimited potential and i have the power to create my own life 
Wonderful. So let's take three deep breaths. Breathe in from your nose. And breathe out from your mouth. Keep your eyes closed for a few moments. And slowly open your eyes. Have one sip of water. So now that we have released all the unwanted stuff towards our own self, because the biggest challenge in life is when we think that we are not good enough. Whereas honestly, we are a creation of God. So where is the question of not being good or bad? And you are a creation of God. So where is the question of not being good or bad? And your identity is not something that you own. Your degrees, certificates, the money you have in your life, your possessions, those are separate. वो अलग चीज है और आप कौन हो वो अलग चीज है ये दोनों को मिक्स नहीं करना वेन पीपल मिक्स द टू थिंग्स दैट इज द कॉज ऑफ ऑल सफरिंग इन लाइफ मोमेंट आई से ओ आई डोंट हैव मनी सो आई एम नॉट गुड ओ आई डोंट लुक नाइस सो आई एम नॉट गुड दैट इज नॉट ट्रू आपके अंदर जो शक्ति है वो परमात्मा का एकांत है तो उसमें अच्छा बुरा होने का कहां से हो जाए when you accept yourself and you love yourself the way you are you are emitting the most powerful vibration that i am lovable i am capable i deserve the best i am a unique creation of god when you emit that signal what are you going to attract into your life everything that will make you feel better aapke relationships kaam karne lagenge money situation will start working everything starts to work in life the moment you love and accept yourself just the way you are no conditions at all unconditional love towards your own self okay when you love yourself unconditionally you are actually loving god unconditionally because what is there inside you is a part of the soul atma param atma so jab aap uska ansh ho to fir connection galat right so once we understand this everything starts to work in our life so all said and done there is so much that you have been able to accomplish in your life so please appreciate yourself please say thank you to god for all your qualities all the talents the abilities that god has given you so let us express our deepest gratitude towards the almighty okay So please pull out your gratitude journals and let us practice gratitude for a few minutes. Let's be deeply grateful. Start writing your gratitude. be grateful for what god has made you for all that you are your uniqueness what makes you special talents your abilities there is nobody on this planet who is exactly like you is there koi nahi aapke jaisa soche uske liye main aabhari hona chahiye ki nahi
grateful to God for what he has made you because there is not a single soul, not a single person who is exactly like you on this entire planet. There never has been somebody like you. There never will be like you. Thank you for the uniqueness. Thank you for all the talents. Thank you for what you have been able to accomplish in your life. Thank you. Thank you. हो सकता है आपके जीवन में बहुत सारे तकलीफें आई हो मुश्किलें आई हो लेकिन अगर आप यहाँ तक आ चुके हो तो इज इन दैट एन अचीवमेंट यू नाइस पैट ऑन योर मैक से थैंक यू टू गॉड फॉर हेल्पिंग यू टू रीच दिस पोजीशन वेयर यू आर टुडे Remember the hardships in our life help us to develop virtues, maybe of kindness, maybe of compassion, maybe of patience. अगर वो जीवन में तकलीफ आती ही नहीं थी, तो फिर हम वो सारी चीजें कैसे सीखते? We have to be grateful to God for even giving us challenging situations, so that we become a better person. Please take one more minute. And now you can gently close your eyes and be deeply grateful. Feel the gratitude from the depths of your heart. <clears throat> the more you feel the gratitude, the more your vibration starts to go up. You think of God in your mind, connect with your own God, and from the depths of your heart, say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for making me who I am today. Thank you for guiding and supporting me through the journey of life. Thank you for always being there to make me stand up after falling in my life. You know you're always there. Support me to guide me through the journey of my life. Thank you. Thank you. Now in the journey of life, we sometimes end up hurting people. <clears throat> we end up hurting our own self. 
we need to seek forgiveness. Because apne aap ko hurt karna is equally not good as hurting somebody else. Dekho, jo samne wale insaan hai, wo bhi paramatma ka ekansh hai. Aap bhi paramatma ka ekansh ho. To dousro ko hurt karna to sahi baat hai. Wo to sahi hai hi nahi. Lekin kya apne aap ko hurt karna sahi hai? Imagine. So let us connect with God. Dear God, if I have hurt anybody, including myself, knowingly, unknowingly, directly, indirectly, in this life or any of my previous lives, if I have hurt anybody through my thoughts, through my words or through my deeds, I seek forgiveness from the bottom of my heart. I tehe dil aap se shama chata hu. Mujhe shama kare aur mujhe un karmo se mukti dijiye. Please forgive me and release me from those karmic patterns. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We all know God is very kind, <coughs> full of mercy, and He is only unconditional love. So visualize His unconditional love coming directly from the source, from the seventh plane, in the form of a beautiful vibration falling on all of us like a waterfall. Feel that God's love is being showered upon you right now. Kaisa feel hoga soche. And feel that this energy of unconditional love is now entering your body from the crown chakra. Going downwards from your scalp through your forehead, into your temples, your eyes, your nose, your ears, your lips, the chin, the cheeks, has covered your entire face. <coughs> now further going down through your neck region, shoulder region, upper arms, forearms, the wrist, the palms, the fingers, the nails, all the way to the tip of your nails. Going further down through your chest region, abdomen area, covering all the organs, the hip region, covering your thighs, the knees, the calf muscles, the ankles, the feet, the toes, all the way to the tip of your toe. Feel that this beautiful energy of unconditional love is flowing through all the 50 plus trillion cells of your body. Feel the love of the Creator in every cell of your body. And this unconditional love is also flowing through your belief systems. Remember, unconditional love is the most powerful healing energy in the universe and heal anything. Visualize that as this energy is flowing through the cells of your body, that if there are any ailments, that all ailments are now changing to perfect physical health. Feel the love of the Creator for you. Matma ka jo pyaar hai aapke taraf usko mehsoos kariye. This love is millions of times more powerful than even the mother's love. Aap soch sakte ke kitna powerful hai.
And as this beautiful unconditional love flows through your body, it washes away all those karmic patterns, all those subconscious patterns and the samskaras in your subconscious mind, releasing all of that in the form of a black gas, sending it to God's light. Gone. Now visualize your heart chakra to be a beautiful, radiant, green colored chakra, radiating love and compassion. Filling up your body, filling up your entire home, covering all your loved ones, covering your offices, all the colleagues in your office, covering everybody in your city, your state, your country, covering the continent and finally covering the entire planet Earth, reaching out to all the 7.4 billion people and all the other living beings on the planet. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, God, for your kindness, for your grace, for your mercy. Now let us be in connection with the infinite intelligence, which is nature, which is God, which is consciousness. You may transport yourself to one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. And feel the presence of God in everything around you. Presence of source energy. That energy which runs the whole universe. Shakti ko apne andar mehsus kariye. Shakti ko har cheez mein dekh sakte ho. Aap usko mehsus kar sakte ho. Stay focused on your breath. Now that you are deeply connected with the loving, intelligent energy within you and around you, you can now visualize in your mind of what you wish to create in your life. Because when you are connected with the source energy, the source energy can take any form, but it will take the form of the pictures that you hold in your mind. So visualize your perfect health. ये फिकर मत करिए कि आप उसको कैसे पाओगे आपको अपने माइंड में सिर्फ वो पिक्चर देखना है जो आप चाहते हो आपके हेल्थ को विजुलाइज करें सी द लेवल ऑफ योर फिजिकल फिटनेस एब्सोल्युटली काम इज फुल फुल ऑफ एनर्जी Strong, having a strong, flexible, and a fit body, able to do endless work. Your face is radiant and vibrant. You have achieved your desired weight. Every cell of your body is vibrant with energy and health. People around you are asking you, how come you're looking so nice? How come you have so much energy to do what you are doing? The 
you take a moment to be grateful to God that thank you so much, dear God, for all my, my fitness, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual level. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Feel that fitness within you. Feel that. That you already accomplished that level of health. Take a moment to visualize your relationships. See the smile on everybody's faces. Visualize that you're sitting and having a meal together on the dining table. And you have all your family and all your friends. के चेहरे पे खुशी देखिए एक शांति देखिए एवरीबॉडी शेयरिंग देयर सक्सेस स्टोरीज हाउ दे आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड इन लाइफ ग्रोइंग डे बाय डे एवरीबॉडी इज लाफिंग विद वन अनदर एंजॉयिंग विद वन अनदर So much of mutual love, understanding, compassion, acceptance, and tolerance. And with this, these virtues, you can feel the tolerance, you can feel the harmony in your house. The peace and the tranquility and the serenity. And you feel loved and supported and appreciated and accepted by people around you, which propels you to achieve far more, unleash your highest potential. Visualize your work area of your life देखिए कि आपके जितने भी प्रोफेशनल गोल्स थे वो सारे अचीव हो रहे हैं आपके सामने अचीव हो रहे हैं हाउ आर यू फीलिंग मे बी जुबिलियंट एक्सिलरेटेड थैंकफुल एक्साइटेड यस मैंने हमने हमारे टीम ने हमने सारे गोल्स अचीव कर लिए जो हमने सोचा था reaching out to more and more customers making a deeper impact on the society through your products and services you can see a smile on your customers faces you can see that you added a value some value to their life through whatever you are offering you are focused on creating excellence in everything that you do whether the task is small big every task that you do do it with a lot of love as if you're serving god making you a true karma yogi whatever you do you do it with love and with excellence in your mind and because you are making a deep impact and you are adding value to people around you the universe responds by bringing in prosperity into your life visualize the money flowing into your life different forms you may see your bank statement indicating that you may see sms 
and you are amazed to see how prosperity is flowing into your life effortlessly because you are putting in hard work but the prosperity is flowing in effortlessly and with this resources the money and the prosperity you are fulfilling all your family's dreams your dreams living the lifestyle of your choice maybe traveling maybe doing the things that you love to do living in your dream home your dream car whatever you want is all created for you your efforts and that enables you to do even better work for the society because you have so much resources that you can make a deeper impact to the society by giving back and by contributing there is a deep sense of inner peace fulfillment and joy feeling that you're living a meaningful and a purposeful life thank you thank you thank you dear god for enabling me to live this life of purpose meaning and contribution thank you thank you now let us take a moment to pray while we are raising the level of our consciousness and we understand that we are the creators of our life there are millions of people on the planet who are not able to understand this and live the life of a victim feeling that they have no control on their life so let us pray for those souls that dear god please shower your unconditional love shower your healing energy on all the people who are there in my non circles and non circles all the living beings on the planet please shower your blessings on planet earth let your healing energy and unconditional love reach every living being and help them to reawaken their spirits and to rise from where they are to the next level please send your healing energy to all the people on the global healing list help them to come out of all the ailments which are listed in that list is and show good rainfall throughout india this monsoon season so there is abundance crops abundance of food abundance of everything this beautiful country we request you to shower your blessings on all of us we shower the energies of peace those regions where there is tension stress and war thank you and now we will request the creator to do a few downloads for us the download for today is I know how to live my life without gossip. I think this is repeated today. So let us download today that I have unlimited power. That I am the creator of my life. And I request the creator to download these programs for you. I have unlimited power. That I am the creator of my life. 
Thank you. Creator of all that is. It is requested to download the programs that I have unlimited power, that God has given me unlimited power, that I can use this power to create my own life the way I want it. I'm no longer a victim. I'm the creator of my life. Let these programs be downloaded and instilled at all cell levels and all belief levels. All the participants who have said yes, including myself and my family, and this be done in the highest and the best way. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Please show me. Witnessing the energy of these programs being downloaded from the seventh plane, falling on all of us like a beautiful waterfall. Entering the body from the crown chakra, filling up all the 50 plus trillion cells with the programs that I have been gifted with unlimited power and that I can create the life of my dreams the way I wish to be. And I am no longer a victim of people, events, situations and circumstances. That these programs are now instilled at all cell levels and all belief levels. Thank you, it is done, it is done. Now every cell of your body knows the unlimited power that exists within you, power that God has given you. Every cell of your body knows that you are the creator of your life. Nobody else can do that for you. Every cell of your body knows that you can live your life without being a victim. A victim to other people's thoughts, negative thoughts, emotions. You are insulated from all of that. Thank you, thank you. Now let us create a beautiful shield around us to protect us from all the negative influences from the external world. Visualize yourself and with an intention of creating a shield, say the word shield. Then visualize a beautiful divine white light around you with a mirror on the outside surface, protecting you from any negative influences from the external world. Agar kisi bhi tarah ke nakarat makshaktiya aapke taraf aati hai, to wo bounce ho ke fir se chali jai. Visualize your loved ones, your family members and say the word shield. And visualize the shield around everybody, your children, your parents, your family members. Visualize all the things that are important for you, for your well-being, your home, your car, your office, the knowledge, the investments, the saving, whatever you Value just save the word shield and visualize the beautiful divine light around all your valuables. Remember, you can always create a shield when you're traveling long distances. You can shield the airplane, you can shield the train, your car can shield your house when you're leaving your house for a couple of days. Thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone. Now that we've completed our rituals, aligned our minds, raise the level of our consciousness, becoming more aware of what we are thinking, saying, doing, feeling seeing in our mind. 
and being more aware of the laws of the universe, of how when you live these laws, you can live a beautiful life. Aligning your minds to your goals and visions, ready to take on the day. With this awareness, bring yourself into the present moment, become aware of your breath, Become aware of the gentle moments of your abdomen going up and down. And with that awareness, you can just rub your hands. Place them on your eyes. Feel the warmth of your palms on your eyes. And when you're ready, slowly take your palms away from your eyes. Opening your eyes with a blink, with a smile on your face. Look into your palms and make a beautiful wish for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to each one of you. Namaste to each one of you. And may all your dreams, wishes, goals, aspirations, dreams come true. Slowly open your eyes. Look into the mirror. And appreciate yourself for who you are. Reminding yourself of who you are. The Bab of Napo Yad de la Toka Pon. Nyako Medeke or of Napsekaye. I love you. I really, really love you. I love and accept you just the way you are. Nothing needs to change. I love you. I really, really love you. You are perfect, whole and complete. Feel that genuine love and appreciation for yourself. Remember that God has made you unique, has made you special, that you are a part of Him. Okay, so now that you are ready to take on the day, put your fist out in the air and say yes. Today is the best day of my life, the happiest day of my life, the most productive day of my life. And I expect to see only miracles happening today in my life. I'm open and receptive to all the good and abundance in this universe. Hey, Paramatma, I is Brahman ki sari thayo ko ne jivan me lane ke liye tayaro. And visualize all the good and abundance flowing into your life. Whether it is money, happiness, joy, prosperity, peace, love, time, comfort. It is beautifully coming in like abundance flowing into your life. Okay. Give a nice hug to yourself. Good job done. Good job done. Keep coming to the morning rituals. <laughs> Spread the word to others. Make a difference. Always take a moment to please like the video, share the video with your friends. Maybe they'll get inspired. Who knows? Leave a nice comment there. Thoda sa ek samay, ek do minute le kar ke usko please kariye ka. Okay, every day. And before we go to the learning, today we are starting our basic Theta Healing course. Is for three days. So we have a few wonderful folks joining us today. If there is anybody here who still wishes to join, I know it is last minute. You can reach out to us and join the three day program. 
So let us listen to a story of the king and the beggar before we end. Once upon a time, a country was ruled by a king who had no son to succeed to the throne. Since the king was getting old, he wanted to select a suitable successor to rule the country. The king sent out notices throughout his country. The notices invited every qualified young man in the country for an interview with the king. The outcome of the interview would decide a possible successor to the throne. The only qualification for the candidate was that they should have immense love for their fellow human beings. Every young man across the country was very excited at the possibility of being the ruler of the country. A poor young man from a remote village also read the notice and started to prepare for an interview with the king. The man was a kind man, a hard-working man, but he was very poor due to various circumstances. The man had no good clothes to be presentable in the sight of the king. So the young man worked really hard and saved some money to buy him proper clothes and supplies to support him for the long journey to the palace. After he got his supplies and a proper attire for the interview, the young man set out on his quest. He traveled many days and had almost completed the journey when he came upon a poor beggar by the side of the road. The poor beggar sat trembling in the cold, covered only in tattered rags. The beggar extended his arms and pleaded for help. His weak voice croaked, I am hungry and cold. Please help me, sir. The young man was so moved by the pathetic condition of the beggar that he immediately stripped his new attire and offered it to him. He also provided him with his very limited food he had carried for the journey. The beggar thanked the man a thousand times, but since the man had given up his good clothes to the beggar, he was a bit hesitant to go for the interview. He, however, gathered enough courage to enter the palace in his old dirty clothes. Upon his arrival at the palace, a king's attendant showed him the way to the great hall. After a short rest to clean off the journey's grime, the man was admitted to the throne room for the interview. The young man bowed low as the king entered the room. When he raised his eyes, he gasped in astonishment, as he noticed that the king looked very similar to the beggar he had met on the way. The king saw the shock in the man's eye and said, Yes, I was the beggar you met on your way. But why did you dress up like a beggar? You are a king. Well, why did you do this to me? The young man stammered after gaining some composure. Because I had to be sure that you had a good heart and you genuinely love your fellow human beings, said the king. I knew that if I came to you as a king, you would have done anything to impress me. But that way, I would never have known what is truly in your heart. The generosity and love to the one in need without expecting anything in return is the sign of a great heart. Looking at your love, generosity towards the beggar man proved that you sincerely love your fellow human beings. This country needs a leader who would work for the welfare of all of the nation, not just the ones who would offer and cater to the throne. You have proven that you are the right person to be my successor, promised the king. You see, in life, kindness is more important than wisdom, and the recognition of this is the beginning of wisdom. A heart filled with compassion and love to our fellow human beings is the greatest gift we can give to the world. A king in this land today might be rich and glamorous, might have the power and all the might. But this kingdom is worthless compared to a rich heart of a beggar man. This is Dare to Do Motivation Stories. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.
what is the learning today? The learning is be kind to people around you. Have compassion in your hearts because that is the biggest contribution you can make to, to this entire world. So be kind to yourself, be kind to others, have a heart of compassion and try to make as much difference to the world as possible. With those words, we finish the ritual for today. Please remember the weekly challenge. The challenge is to write your victory log every single evening. You know, appreciating yourself for all the things that you're doing during the day. You start your day with gratitude and you end your day with appreciation. When you raise your vibration twice a day, you will automatically start seeing changes in your life. Okay? So wish you all the best. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Venkatesh, Avinashi, Komalji. Thank you all the folks on the YouTube channel who have joined us today. Sanjay ji, Vrushali, Kavita ji, Rupali ji, Jankana ji, Nandakumar, Manisha ji, Sandeep ji, Avesh, Manita, Ayushi, Agrim ji, Sashmati ji. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not able to take everybody's names, but deeply grateful to each one of you for joining us every morning and helping us spread goodness on this planet. Thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow.